Hi, I am Dr. Tanya Wild, naturopathic doctor, back on here just to give a little synopsis, a little review of the reviews that I was reviewing this week and posted on Instagram pertaining to the strange connection between a low carbohydrate diet and how it increases mortality, not what I expected to find. So I shared it and I quizzed you. Some of you got the answers uh, correct or the answer correct as to why there's that connection. It turns out that it was all of the above. So all of the above as in the reason why a low carbohydrate diet increases mortality is because when you follow a low carbohydrate diet for the long term, not for the short term, but for the long term, often people increase their fat, increase their protein, and the protein they're consuming is our animal proteins. And so then you don't end up getting enough plant-based proteins and healthy carbohydrates, which include you know, more fiber, prebiotics, probiotics, and plant nutrients, so phy phytonutrients. So bottom line, really important that if you are going to, let's say, effectively, I mean, it's, it, is, it is effective to follow a low carbohydrate diet for the short term to reverse your type two diabetes and to achieve a healthy weight loss and to improve your blood pressure and your lipid panel. So you can do that. You can follow a low carbohydrate diet without increasing your risk for death or mortality. You can follow it for the short term. So you can eat lots of uh, vegetables with some uh, animal meats and fishes and chicken, turkin, turkey, turkin, uh, eggs. And so you can follow a low carb diet safely without carbohydrates such as brown rice, quinoa, root vegetables for the short term to reverse your type two diabetes, improve your metabolic parameters, but then it's not very sustainable for the long term. So a keto diet essentially is very effective for improving your overall health if followed for the short term. But then I would switch over or switch you over to consider, consider switching over to a lower carbohydrate diet that also swaps out your animal-based protein for plant-based proteins. So I've listed a bunch on my Instagram page so you can have a visual of some examples of plant-based proteins and then not sustaining on such a low, low carbohydrate diet. So somewhere in between like a low to moderate carbohydrate diet is a lot easier to follow and sustainable for the long term. Because let's be honest, if we're too low carbs, what ends up happening is we end up muscle wasting, we end up getting a little constipating, constipated and we also end up really craving the refined type of carbohydrates, which we want to definitely be avoiding. But if we don't get any carbs or very few carbohydrates, it's not very sustainable. And then we want chips and we want pasta and breads and crackers and cookies, the stuff that we really want to be avoiding if we're trying to be healthy most of the time. I mean, 80% of the time, if you're eating really clean and avoiding the flour-based carbohydrates, then you're going to be a lot healthier. And in order to do that, you have to have a balance with some healthy carbs. And it's really important for the long term that if you are going to follow a low carb diet, that there is some plant based protein, not just meat based protein. So as long as the, 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 the research showed that if you did swap that out, all of a sudden that risk for increased mortality went away. So there's your answer. I hope that helps and clears thing up clears things up. I will also be posting some uh, visuals for you to have some ideas of some complete um, meals, like complete uh, plant-based protein, carbohydrate balanced meals, as well as some visuals on portion sizes to help support you with your weight loss journey, improve metabolism, and feeling great for the long term while anti-aging and not increasing your mortality because we definitely don't want to do that we want to reduce your mortality and feel great doing so so uh, thank you so much and i will come back on here soon to share some more tips on weight loss and metabolism thank you